Hello, how's it going? Salt Tire here. Welcome to part three of my Epirus campaign using the recently released Hellenistic Legacy add-on for Langene's Barbarian Empire's modification of Rome Total War. Previously, we started off by capturing Capua and almost immediately afterwards we marched on Rome, their capital, where after some spirited resistance we managed to take that as well. Now I did take a few casualties in there, let's just get the background script up and running, and I'm um, having those retrained. Now the thing is, uh, are these units all being replenished? Uh, that's, uh, I would say that's a full unit and so is that. So they must have a blacksmith in here. Yeah, there we go. So they're, they're being upgraded then. Uh, light and heavy weapons, they're plus one, so that's up to bronze status. Uh, but I don't quite want that. Uh, there's still another couple here that can be done. Uh, let's put these all back for now. Now then, um, that's a full complement, that's a full complement, so they're going to get upgraded, same with that, that's an up, a full complement. I think Pyrrhus' bodyguard though, there should be more in his bodyguard, I think, I'll put him in, I think Alexander the same, but I'm not too bored about him, well, it's only 58 denarii, I suppose we could. Okay, yeah we will. I want this unit here, if it's heteroi, and I don't know if that's a full... Oh, that one can't be replenished anyway. Now, in case you're wondering why these are different, these two uh, units here, um, I've spoke to Langean about it, and he explained that these two units here, these Pes heteroi, were actually recruited in Macedonia, and this unit of Pes heteroi are uh, um, to depict veteran uh, phalangites that uh, form part of Pyrrhus's core army when he was younger and he was fighting his uh, battles in um, Asia Minor and they sort of like followed him you know on, on his journey so I thought it was a nice little touch by Langen to think that up um, creating a little bit of visual diversity. I think he's done that for several units in this mod, so I thought yeah, it's a nice little touch that shows a little bit of a uh, thought process that's gone into what he's done, which is uh, pretty good in my opinion. Um, so anyway, they can't be replenished then. So that unit can, we'll put them down there. Now these Greek hotlights, again, I think they're much the same They've probably been recruited somewhere over the Aegean somewhere. And um, I'll just double check though. Uh, let's look at the recruitment. Yeah, we've got armoured hotlights there. That's it, just armoured hotlights. What about Capua? Armoured hotlights there. Basic hotlights there. And mercenary hotlights there. So no, I don't think they can be uh, replenished, so I'm just going to disband them. There's only four men in the unit, so hardly worthwhile keeping. Uh, let's look at the rest. Uh, right, well they're all pretty much full units, so we might as well just have them retrained and upgraded, get them all done. Excellent. Then we'll get them done the next turn. But I don't want to hang about wait for them, I want to get out of Roma and push north and go after the last remaining settlement belonging to the Roman, Repu Roman Republic and we take that and that's the end of them and um, I've completed phase one of my victory conditions so uh, that's what we'll be doing so I ain't getting any more money left, I think I'm pretty much building everywhere anyway, recruiting there oh there's Apollonia, we need to keep an eye on this now it'll just be my luck that we'll reach Eretium and the Macedonians will come in and attack Ap Apollonia. They might not, but um, I've got a, another unit being recruited there. I'm hoping 
it might be a large enough garrison in there to uh, delay them but saying that they'll probably come in an even larger army and I'll probably have to rush back to Epirus that's why I brought my ship over here but uh, I'm just starting some because we're recruiting hot lights there and uh, yeah I know what I'm going to do let's get that in turn and they haven't attacked us which is good but we've got ourselves a suitable husband the garrison commander one star command he's 21 so we'll definitely take him and we've got him in Rome uh, how useful is that okay then um, now where's my spy what to do with him oh he's in Capua isn't he yes. right, let's send you up our item's about here I reckon look at that spot on 100% chance of success, in you go. And it's only a 40% chance that they'll open the gates, but quite often that works anyway. But we'll send the elephants up no matter what anyway. Now the garrison they've got is Lucius Julius, who's a new faction leader, two-star command. He's got a bronze upgrade to his weapons, and he's just got the one bronze chevron of experience. There's two Hastati, they both get bronze chevron of experience. And this unit of Italic Spearmen got an upgrade to weapons, bronze upgrade to weapons, so not too terrible, I wouldn't have thought. Let's just quickly go through this. And yeah, dealt with that. Recruitment report, that's fine. Construction, I'll come back to that in a minute. End of turn reports looking reasonably good. Now we've got 7,800, I want to recruit some troops. And I also, I think. I may well set, okay, we, should we recruit another one there, or should I get these armoured hot lights? Uh, oh, I know what I'll do, I'll use my ship, right, bring him right that round there, put these hot lights on board. Send that into dock, now they should just have enough movement I think. There we go, that's that reinforced, now that might delay the Macedonians for two or three turns so be quite handy and get an army back across there and we can get an army built to protect Italy now then let's get let me see we'll send you up that should pacify there good and then we'll see what money we've got left which is so expensive to recruit isn't it we'll see what money we've got left in there we'll maybe get another unit in there now, we, armor top weights we can rec recruit there. And there. And we'll also retrain these guys. Which is good. And should we get ourselves another spy? No, we don't need to use the money yet. Uh, that's going to be okay, I think. But I would like to build something. Uh, Croton. We'll build it in Croton. That'll do it. Not a lot more I can do. Let's just have a quick look here again. Right. Retrain. Get you retrained then. Then we'll get that ship sent back. Did I only send one by here? Right, that's fine, we're fine. Now, time to assault Aretium. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll leave... I think we'll leave Alexander behind. Take this guy up, we won't bother retraining him. He's only going to be a governor, maybe get him done later. We'll take him up along with the elephants, cavalry. Right, we'll leave them be retrained. We'll take the skirmishers. That should just about do it, I think. Let's get up there. Our oh, gates are open anyway, so that's quite handy. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go and take our Let's go. Okay, 
Okay, like I said, nothing much to worry about there. I don't think this should be fairly straightforward. Be a wee bit of resistance, of course, because the last settlement, but see how it goes. We did. Right then, first things first, quickly see where that plaza is. And it is there again, pretty straightforward, straight ahead. Right, so we don't need the elephants to knock down the gate for us. Uh, but what I'll we'll, we'll do is I'll put them up front for now. We want him to get through the gate. I'm not too worried about this chair, and we'll still leave him there out the way. I think probably we shouldn't really need the cavalry. I don't think it should be enough. Okay, let's go for it. Send them up there. Send them up there. Send them up. The elephants up because they, their archers can fire at them as well. That should do is just bring them a little bit closer. I doubt if we'll need them, but better be safe and sorry. A war cry from them. the rest of their troops by the way. There's only one unit there. There's a unit on that gate. What are they? Is that starting? It's like a spearman I think. So started, they're getting mullered, didn't they? Big time. Right, get the elephants round here. General up there. I'm going to, I want to go after that general and his bodyguard. That's these guys all sorted. Right, let's get our it's hit her right. Up to here, I think. Bring all of them up here. And then that should do that, I think. Actually, I think I'll send Pyrrhus up there. We need him to give a bit of moral su morale support. And we'll send this cavalry unit in there. General, just wait. Let's get this moving along a bit quicker. Don't 
check that general hasn't come out. No, he hasn't. Let's bring his cavalry up here. Jesus, that's better. Pyrrhus up to here. They should take some casualties there, shouldn't they? Right, and you can keep, just keep going into them there. Hold on a minute, I want the second unit. Third unit, there. Let's give a rally call, General. Both those units are in there. Taking a lot of casualties in that first unit though. Those veterans. Taking about 50 casualties in that first unit. So the faction leader's down. Dead. Come on, die. That's what I thought. Take a few casualties from them pillum, but let's get them off that and run them. I really don't like fighting with pikes, to be honest with you. General, bring them up here. That's it. Push on to them, and you push on to them. Here come the boys. Oh, 
Uh, where they're going to go? Uh, let's put them over there. Come on. Probably not the best for this sort of battle, for siege battles, but well, we just like to see some close up brutality, don't we? So let's get him over here. Come on, boys. Yeah, there's no mice over here. Come on. Come on, down here. Okay, charge him. Close up brutality, come on. Yeah, there we go. General, sort them two out. Yeah, go and finish them up. Go on. Job done. Yeah, it can be a wee bit messy this way as well. Using pikes and elephants in the confines of a plaza. <laughs> Took 121 losses though, that's not too bright at all. Etc. Roy 200. He killed 169 though. No? And 92. But look how many hits he took, both of them. It's not too great. Okay, off we go. I won't be recruiting any more phalangites anyway. I'll fight with armored hotlights, that's what I like. And there we go, the Roman Republic shall dine in Hades, off you go. Job done. Okay, let's see who we can retrain here. We'll get him retrained, that'll do. Okay, we'll hit that end turn. Right, now the goals are on top of us right away, looking for trade rights, which probably means they're going to attack us. So we'll get some money out of them, see if that puts them off. We'll go about 800, see what they say to that. They'll probably refuse. Uh, they'll give 550. Uh, we'll say 700. I always like to try and get the last word. It's a role playing thing. I don't think it actually affects the game itself. There we go. They've accepted. Now they've paid his money, they might not attack us, you see. Right, chap, let's get you down and find the, uh, the Greek police. Polices. Alright, again, trade rates. Make a single payment. Again, we won't ask for too much. Let's go 700. Oh, you want us to give you money? No. It's very rice it is. Okay, let's try map information. Let's see if we can get 500 out of them. They've accepted it, so we've got money out of them one way or another. That'll do for me. Right, that's his job pretty much done. There's not a lot more he can get around here. I don't think, can he cross over there? No, I can't cross over there, so send him up this way. I don't know who's up there. Since he's there. No, come on this way. See what we can find. 
Okay then. Recruitment's done. Construction is is done as well. All right. Let's get that ship back. And the dock. Now then. Not going to worry too much. Send you up there to get retrained. We'll recruit another unit. Of armoured hot lights. Another unit of armoured hot lights here. And these be retrained. Oh look at that, armoured hot lights there as well. And them. This heteroy retrain. No real need to rush back yet, we've got a ship in there. Now then, let's recruit another unit of... No, let's recruit a unit of swordsmen. Okay. Still got a little bit of money. Building Croton. Now, let's get a barracks built here. And then we can go and support Apollonia when needed. Kapua, let's see what we can build here. Oh yeah, this leave tax rates where they are. Okay, so we'll leave those hot lights there. We've got enough coming there and there. These can all start making their way back. Just put you there for the moment. Damn, I left the wrong ones behind. I meant to leave them behind. Don't matter. Alright. We'll leave them behind and we'll send all these up. All these can go and join. Trained. Just drop the taxis down. It's all looking good to go. Okay. My lord. Well, it won't matter because we're waiting for that unit coming out of there. And that unit coming out of there. That can be retrained, that's handy. And let's hit that end turn. My lord, my lord. Right, let's get you some slingers. some thrashing pelters in there, get that repaired. Zeus in there. Yes, Send you down here to get retrained. Yes, there to get retrained as well. Looking good. Right, he, they need some backup. Um, city militia for garrison. And I'll build a little army to protect, a bit of hard stack army, to protect Italy while we go and take on the Macedonians. Looking fine there. Just wait for these guys here. Just get a 
another unit of hot points. Yeah, why not? Trader in there. Building there. Trader in there. It's all looking good. Okay, people, I'm going to end the episode there and I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one when we're going to cross the Adriatic and take on the Macedonians. Cheers.